thanks for staying with us here on Join News Prime. Let's do some politics now. National Vice Chairman of the NDC, Al Haji Said Nari, may still face charges in spite of the police dropping the charges against him in court. Now, the National Vice Chairman uh, was accused of distributing weapons to some persons to cause chaos during the December 7 elections. He denies this allegation made against him by a fellow NDC executive who is the chairman of the Ayawaso North constituency. My colleague Kweku Asante followed up on this matter and filed this report. State prosecutors have dropped two charges of conspiracy to commit crime to wit possession of firearms without authority and possession of firearms without lawful authority against a national vice chairman of the NDC, Al Haji Said Sinari. The Kaneshi okay. District Court discharged him after police prosecutor Sergeant Thomas Safo informed the court that there had been new developments for which reason the state was no longer interested in pursuing the specific charges leveled against him. The national vice chairman of the NDC, Al Haji Said Sinari, was accused of distributing weapons to some persons to cause chaos during the December elections. The Ayawasu North constituency chairperson of the NDC, Tahiru Ahmed, is reported to have confessed to the police that Al Haji Said Sinari supplied guns to some youth to cause chaos during the December election. Al Haji Said Sinari has dismissed the allegations against him, calling on the NDC party to take disciplinary action against Mr. Tahiru Ahmed. Here is Abraham Amaliba. One of the lawyers for the NDC vice chairman speaking to the media after the court discharged his client. The charges that were brought to court were not well founded. And so I'm sure the prosecution saw that there were some gaps in the, in the, in the charges and that's why they redo it. So we want to thank the court for accepting the submission of the prosecution. And I can tell you that uh, a large scenario is now a free man. There's no camp in this matter. We are not uh, having two different camps. Mm. What is important is that Alaji Sinari has gotten his freedom back. His liberties have been restored. Alaji Sinari is now going to walk home free man. And that is what is important. But before this, Abraham Amaliba had been explaining the circumstances around the case to join news. He's uh, been asked to write his uh, caution statement, which has to do with possession of firearms with a lawful authority. And as you know, the facts are very clear. Alaji is not in possession of any of those arms. It was somebody who brought them to the police. And so it would be absurd to parade Alaji before the course and charge him for possession, when indeed there were no guns before him. However, there were two guns that were shown to Alaji. There was an AK-47 and then a pump-action gun. Alaji had already reported of the, the, the loss of his pump-action gun. He reported that to the cantonment's police station. He, that gun is licensed. The pump action gun is licensed. But Alaji has no knowledge of the AK-47. And as usual of such cases involving high-profile politicians, party supporters masked up at the Greater Accra Region Police Headquarters. For interrogation. That's why we are here. We are here behind him. We are here because of Alaji Sinari. Alaji Sinari is our vice chairman. And where things are going on, as a political arena, we thought that the thing is a planting against our chairman. The Ayawaso North NDC chairman who made these allegations was also in court and had the same charges leveled against him. He has also since been discharged. He has now been suspended by the NDC. But the police is still interested in investigating this issue and is continuing with investigations into the matter.